Never underestimate the power of Hello YouTube, hello Twitch chat. Today I decided to make a short video on why I don't build the same items that I recommend. So I call it here Noob versus Pro for a bit of clickbait. However, Noob does not mean bad. The things that you can see on your left side is actually completely fine and I could run it in a lot of challenger games and it would still be fine. So Ari and PTA are not bad and it's not that I don't recommend you to build them. I recommend you to build them absolutely. So I think if you are under master 300 LP or something and you play top lane Teemo, you should go one of the two runes on the left side and then just build Nasha, Riftmaker, and then Zonya, Deathcap, uh, Demonic, whatever you want. Every single game. So my classification of noob is pretty large. In EO West, it's basically everyone besides me. Because what I'm gonna talk about is how I try to micromanage and get advantages. But for all of you guys, this is enough. This is good enough. Timo has a lot of problems with sustain. He doesn't really have a nice way of getting sustain. And he's very squishy. So playing with Riftmaker and Nasher is going to be very consistent for you guys. It's going to give you a lot of HP, a lot of strength in lane. Very good 1v1. Very good frontlining in teamfights. And it's a completely decent build. Now why don't I run it? The problem that... First of all, I think Fleet Footwork is very strong but you need to play around it correctly and um, you need to space very well, etc. Um, move well in the lane, try to get good traits, etc. So I think that is already like taking up so much brain capacity of yours that you literally shouldn't bother with it. Then so I use fleet footwork because I really value the movement speed and the sustain that it gives me. And because I have sustain from another page, I don't need to go with maker. And I have the value to go uh, Ludens or Landry myself. So uh, you might think that because of the conditioning, uh, because of 12.12 .12 and because of the Landry nerfs, these items aren't good anymore. But they still hold a lot of value with just poking people with Q or with um, with shrooming around the map. Now you might think, hey Alan and high elo, right? They run five oracles or something. So isn't it worse to go for shrooms in the late game? Well, it's often the other way around. I, I have the impression that in lower elos, you will always get to auto attack people and to actually fight and to get autos off. Like, even if they're playing long-range champion, they will run into you for some reason. But in my elo, if I misstep and I get into a situation where I you know that I shouldn't be in, I'm gonna instantly die. They're gonna punish me. So, oftentimes, I just notice that in my games, I'm not able to actually auto-attack anyone. And if I can't actually auto-attack anyone, then why the hell am I going Nasher? And I oftentimes just don't have the time to go for an auto attack. I need to dodge an ability that someone is throwing at me and whatnot. And I got used to this kind of playstyle, which is why right now I'm going Nash Riftmaker a lot less. But that doesn't mean that it's bad. I think it is way better for you to go that in your elo. And there are certain games where I would still run it because you can actually get to auto attack people. Now, I think Zonya is a great item and you should be building it. But I think the reason why Demonic Embrace is even better in lower elos than Zonya is because Demonic Embrace, you don't need to think. Again, I've coached a lot of Teemos and people just aren't good at thinking. I'm sorry. And if you give them one more thing to think about, they're gonna forget how to walk. Like you tell them, okay, make sure that you Zonya and they're gonna forget that they need to auto attack. Like, that's sort of a hyperbole, but the more consistent and the easier you have it to play, the less you're gonna fuck up and the easier it will be for you to play. Now for me, I try to use Zonya to bait people into bad situations, to turn teamfights around in the perfect spot, to be allowed to do plays that I normally wouldn't do. 
So that's why oftentimes I rush Sonya first or even second item. But I don't recommend that to you. So if you see me in my games that I upload onto YouTube, why I don't build the items that I preach, um, hopefully this helps you out a lot. Uh, this helps you out a bit and you understand my perspective a little bit more. If you have got more questions, leave them down in the comments. Also, I will go into some... I think I'll go into some example games and explain to you why I wasn't able to auto attack and why I built the way I did. So for example, as you can see in the 6 to 12 game, I play against um, a Gangplank, Diana, Yasuo, Twitch and Jimmy. Now, usually I would tell you guys that you will be able to fight a lot and there will be a lot of auto attacking. So going Nasha Rhythmaker is completely fine here. But... From my perspective, I'm thinking, okay, Diana Yasuo, I'm kind of squishy. They will probably look to engage onto me, so I want the Zonya. And then also, it will be difficult for me to ever actually move forward. Because the Twitch Yumi uh, might ult and then try to kill me from a distance. So I know I want Zonya for sure. But then if I've already got Zonya first item, then you could still go Nash or Riftmaker. But at that point, I'm like, why don't I just play at range together with the Nidalee Spear and the Senna? If they engage, they engage. Um, we'll deal with that when it happens. But for now, I can just play over range and I can use my Ludens. And eventually we had no healing reduction there, the Yumi, so I went Morello. In another game, oftentimes you can go these full AP builds if you're really far ahead. So I played against Camille which uh, both of these games will be uploaded onto YouTube. And these are very... Camille is a very easy matchup in my opinion, and you can get very far ahead. And if you're very far ahead, uh, you can get away with um, building Death Cap. And if you can build it, it's very nice. It's a lot of damage. But again, I build... I also build Death Cap because I'm like... I'm confident that I won't die, that I'll do the correct play, and that I'll be able to use the damage correctly. For you guys, I'm worried if you got full AP, you're just gonna stand somewhere stupid, you're gonna miss a rotation, you're gonna get caught off, and then all of the damage is wasted. So, of course, all of these builds can work for you, but if you want to consistently climb to a high elo, I still think National Rift Maker is just easier to play, it's better. If you guys disagree and you say, oh, I've played these builds, but I, uh, I like AP, I like Fleet Footwork way more, then please let me know. But oftentimes, um, let me find another game. Do, 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 do. Oftentimes, I'm just very worried about their engage. And all I think about is how can I subvert it as well as possible? How can I not stand in their face? Something very nice about this kind of build is also that you don't really need to auto attack. You know, if you auto attack, you stand still and you're an available target. Meanwhile, if you go full AP, the amount of times you actually auto attack is way lower and you can reposition in fights way more and you can run away uh, so that they can't engage on you way more. So that's another reason why I like this type of build a lot more. But as you could see, right, same Diana Yasuo, but this time against the Gwen, I decided, okay, uh, Nashua Riftmaker is actually good here. And in the end, we won that game. In this game specifically, against Sivir, one pro tip right now, uh, when Sivir uses her E, right, she blocks her spell shield, she blocks your blind. So you're a lot better off just going for auto attacks and just auto attacking her to death so that she can never use her uh, spell shield at all. That's another reason why I went for attack, uh, for attack speed. But yeah, hopefully this clears a little bit up. Never underestimate the power of the scout's code. Hut code. Hut code. Hut two three scout's code. Hut code. Hut hut two three four. Yes, sir.